after the first few thousand times. That's why I've invented speed golf. We run through the course, hit the ball as fast as we can. Whack! Oh, I can't run in these heels. They pinch. <laughs> speed golf sounds fun, but let's make it more interesting. If I win, you not pay for my ticket to the circus tomorrow. So, if you win, I pay for you. But if I win, you pay for... Go! <laughs> 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 Constantine Duck! Constantine not sub duck. <laughs> Constantine is fine. Better that ball hit Constantine and hit Constantine's new amazing donut machine. Machine is state of art. We'll make twister donuts such as Free World has never seen. There's a man who really likes his donut machine. Not like, love! More than family member. <gasps> donut machine is stolen! No! I don't know why, but suddenly I'm hungry for fruit salad. Behold the morning wonder! Handles all your morning tasks as you iron your shirts, eat toast your bread and bruise your tea. Cool! And after it's made your breakfast, it curls your hair. Wow! Oh, hey. I'm sore! Wow! If that thingy-mobob did your homework too, it would be the greatest thingy-mobob in the history of thingy-mobobs. Hey. Look at all that cash! Oh, I've got to come up with my own gadget to sell. All right, Dylan. Thinking mode. Hmm. Looks more like eight bad oysters mode. Hmm. While Dylan's off in a money trance, I say we go see the hypnotist. Woo! <laughs> At the sight of the Queen of Diamonds, you will be in my command. Uh, Voila! Blaine, <laughs> you are a dog. Uh. <laughs> woof, woof! <laughs> and Dane, you, my dear, are a pussycat. And now you're locked in the same room. <laughs> I kind of like them this way. Constantine oh. has been robbed. Need Kieran kids and furry dog. Excuse me, who's the constable around here? Of course, refrigerator-sized constable always welcome. Where donut machine was is now empty spot. Like empty spot in Constantine's heart. Victim reports empty spot in heart. Constantine, the only fingerprints here seem to be yours. And there's no sign of a break in. It's the perfect crime. The criminal leaves no evidence, and I get treats. No fingerprints, no forced entry, just like the others. Others? There's others? What others? Benchley's chemist shop, cash from the till. Then rare stamps stolen from the hobby shop. No clues for either. When did all this happen? Saturday. The day the circus came to town. A circus full of mysterious shady characters. Exactly. No connection, I suppose. No, my finely owned instincts tell me that... <gasps> oh, one love to give is on. I have it downloaded directly to my phone. My love for you 
is more powerful. Don't worry, Constantine. Kieran Kids and Furry Dog are on the case. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. We've got a few questions concerning some robberies. But before that, a little item you might like to handle. I'll give you 20% of the take. Behold, an onion, a spoilt fish and a rotten egg. It's the Sting Machine! Get to the front of any queue, crank the handle and gross people out! Oh, that smell! It smells like... Even. Pure even. <laughs> and maybe... <laughs> and yes. <laughs> It needs a little tweaking. And now, back to the investigation. Joe? <sighs> we're sorry, sir, but there was a robbery last night and we're looking into it. I was demoing the morning wonder at Constable Stubblefield's scrapbooking party last night. Made a ton of sales, <laughs> unlike today. Ha! Good one! Have you uh, noticed anyone suspicious here at the circus? The guy who works the hammer ride. Strange guy. Leaves early a lot, blinks too much. Try him. So we're just asking if anyone's seen anything. Not me. I was watching rugby all last night. And I was shopping for a new gown. <gasps> it's cute. I hope it was half price. You like rugby? No, I detest it. Keep quiet, you. He's talking to me. Don't order me around. Don't talk. <laughs> oh, horrible. <laughs> about something. Maybe it's being next to half a ton of metal fatigue machinery that was thrown together at four in the morning by secondary school dropouts. <sighs> Excuse me, do you mind if we ask you a few questions? Uh, I'm kind of busy, you know. You seem kind of nervous. Perhaps you're guilty. <gasps> no one must find out about me. I say it you. <laughs> <gasps> Somebody help us! Oh, I can see our house from here. <laughs> the controls are broken. And it's going into the danger zone! Why does it have a danger zone? It could have a fun zone. It could have a yippee zone. A danger zone is dangerous. You get a 9.5 for the dismount. <laughs> Dylan stumbled a little. <laughs> That's him! <gasps> Was that guy going to use the portable bathroom? Ugh, those things smell so gross! <laughs> You're going to stay in there till you tell us the truth! <laughs> <laughs> I cannot hold the breath any longer. I confess to you I am guilty. <coughs> my work visa is expired. If I am found out, they send me back to Quebec, where my family is irritating to me. Oh, uh, sorry. We thought you were someone else. No, you liberate me. I can no longer live with the guilt. I shall return to Canada with its forests and streams and delicious maple syrup. Could you fix the hammer ride and give us a free go first? If it doesn't shake your major organs loose, it's actually kind of fun. So, you're not going to talk about all these robberies, eh? Maybe this will soften you up. Constable Stubblefield, did you find the thief? Oh, no. This is just Wax Willy. He's a dummy I practice my technique on for when I do arrest someone. <laughs> Then he's perfect for me to demonstrate my newest gadget, automatic handcuffs. You see your suspect, you press the button, and I go back to the drawing board. Constable Stubblefield, we've been sniffing around the circus. 
Inside tip, don't sniff around the strongman on a hot day. Pooey! There are people at the circus with robbery motives. The half-man, half-woman has a half-mother, half-father who needs an expensive operation. <gasps> and the fire eater needs money. He burnt down his caravan with a between-meal snack. Stubblefield! What? Uh, now slow down, slow down. Oh. I'll be right over. There's been a robbery at the Dunstans. Ah, oh, that's too bad. They were taking their anti-aging foreign language through subliminal tapes beauty power naps. When they woke up, their antique vase collection was pinched. That's a real shame. Guess that rules out your circus theory. A robbery just occurred and everyone at the circus has an alibi. Excuse me, Constable? Your suspect is melting. You have to get to the Dunstans. We'll mop up Willie before he escapes. I know in my bones the thief is from the circus. We just need to go back there and lure him into the open. Oh, <laughs> careful, Dimmy. Don't step in, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> True, your mom won valuable prizes on a TV game show? Yes, she won diamonds, rubies, gold, and other priceless things, all of which are very easy to carry away. So, how's your valuable comic collection? Very valuable indeed. You can see it at 15 Osprey Road. <laughs> hey, there's your mom now. Doesn't she have a cookie jar full of large bills and stock certificates? Why, yes, she does. Hello, Mum. Oh, Joe, Ali, we just saw the most amazing hypnotist. He had the whole audience clucking like chickens. Your mother tried to lay an egg. And then I won a cactus at the beanbag game. Oh, dear. <laughs> 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 well, we're off to see the dancing bear. Ta-ta, kids. Oh, I must still be a bit hypnotised. <laughs> the trap's baited. We'll warn Constable Stubblefield to be on hand tonight. If the burglar strikes, she'll be hiding nearby to arrest him. Tondalaya, you are an island she-demon, but my love for you is more powerful than the volcano god to whom you must be sacrificed. Well, Stubblefield's in position. We'll see if the robber shows up. While we wait, it's a great time to demonstrate my latest brainstorm. Step right up for the miracle of today! Always need an excuse to work out? Love smoothies mm. but don't have electricity? The bike and blend is for you! Oh, isn't it brilliant? I'm going to make a fortune! <laughs> Instead, you made a mess. Well, that's what Timmy's for. <gasps> Hang on, Kundalaya. I can carry you across this molten lava. Why do I have my good silverware in a bag? All questions for the jury. You, my good madam, are nicked on a charge of burglary. Ooh. Mom! Why would Aunt George rob herself? It makes no sense. And believe me, I usually don't make sense, so I know what I'm talking about. She staged her own robbery, so no one would suspect her of the others. Maybe I was sleepwalking. I once played Tchaikovsky's violin concerto in my sleep, which is strange because I don't know how to play the violin. And I prefer Mozart. Quite a haul for somebody napping. China, rare books, silver. Old brass key. <gasps> Where'd that come from? It's not mine. Maybe you bought it in your sleep. <laughs> But isn't it odd that a strange key would be in there with all our stuff? I'll tell you what's odd. A two-headed cow, that's odd. The fact that people enjoy reality TV, most peculiar indeed. Pineapple on pizza! You explain it! Hey, Constable, uh, could you tell me about your bravery medal again? Always happy to, young Kirin. 
Found it at a jumble sale. Cost me 30 quid. True story. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to fingerprint your beloved auntie. Well, it's definitely not an antique Italian skeleton key. Why would you want to unlock an antique Italian skeleton? Well, it's not a grandfather clock key. Bingo! Oh. Did you find it? No, it's a website where you can play bingo. <laughs> what? I could win a jet ski. <sighs> Wait, I think I've got it. Steamer trunk key, circa <gasps> Victorian era. Victorian era circus. Victorian era key. I guess we know what that means. The robber's over 130 years old. It means it's evidence that the robber is from the circus. If we find the lock this key opens, I bet we'll find the robber. Ali, you and Max go and check it out. Dylan and I are going to visit Mum first. <laughs> All right, let's find the lock this key opens. OK, key, open this lock. OK, Key, open this lock. Hmm. OK, Key, open this lock. Wait! These caravans! We haven't tried them! OK, Key, please open this lock. <laughs> See? If you say please, good things happen. <laughs> So, you won't confess, eh? You leave me no choice about what to do now. I'm going to go to lunch, then ask you again later. We got all the stuff you asked for, Mum. Your toothbrush, botany textbook, ventriloquist dummy, and a deck of cards to play patience. And I came up with a new gadget. It's an automatic back scratcher, so your hands will be free to twiddle your thumbs while you rot in the pokey. <laughs> Maybe I'll just stick with patient. Uh, uh. Mum? Must bring oh, you Mom, to wait. Harry. Wasn't the Queen of Diamonds the card the hypnotist showed to people? Bring the loot to Harry. To Harry. Yes! He showed people a Queen of Diamonds and they went under! He hypnotised the Dunstans and Constantine and they were all robbed! That's why there are never unknown fingerprints. He's hypnotising people to rob themselves and bring him their stuff. Here's the loot, Harry. Mum, here's the Queen. Snap out of it! Oh, I don't know how to break the trance! We've got to get to the circus to warn Max and Ally! They could be in danger! I don't think your mum's going anywhere! Those are some nice carnival prizes. They're not prizes. All these things were stolen. Even that lovely watch? At the sight of the Queen of Diamonds, you will be in my command. Voila. Go to the cage of Brutus, the dancing bear. Go inside and take his food. Go now. Step away from the vehicle. Oh. Looks like we need four tickets for the fun house. <laughs> oh. 
Check under the cushions. There might be giant coins. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast, Harry. <laughs> Go in <and> there. <laughs> I need a mirror like that at home. <laughs> it's a bad day for my gadgets. <gasps> now you're under our power. Good job, you kids. <laughs> oh, careful, Timmy. Oh, he can't hurt my tomatoes any more than I did. It's lucky Dylan invented that anti-hypnosis stink engine. Dylan. Working on another invention, a home haircut kit. I don't know what it's supposed to do. I'm sure it's not supposed to do that. Oh, I'm out of the invention business. Maybe I'll try property development. I think you should go back to the circus. Why? I don't have anything to sell. Yes, but with that hair, you'd make an amazing sideshow attraction. <laughs> 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 <laughs>